Hello, this is a uh, news update from the Yacht Channel, and uh, we've decided to cover some of these maritime events that are showing up on YouTube and on the news, and uh, when there's something particularly interesting, uh, I like to study it personally. So I'm going to do that uh, with you here and uh, show you this amazing footage of a uh, air sea rescue of a ship off the coast of Norway. The story is about this vessel which is a uh, about a 360 foot uh, heavy lift vessel. It's called the Eames Lift Hendrika. Built in 2015 so it's fairly modern. Uh, good looking boat. They use it to uh, transport other vessels so there it is with some work boats on board and it also uh, there's a little yacht there but uh, it hauls yachts and work boats and it's currently right now uh, two days after this incident which is ongoing um, it's about 50 miles off the uh, northern coast of Norway so it's it's way up north in Europe uh, so there's Greenland Iceland, Norway. So this is uh, some fairly nasty water this time of year. They're saying that the waves are currently 10 to 15 meters, so uh, over 50 feet in wave height. So what's being reported is that the captain called in a distress, uh, that they had uh, lost power, um, at, although at this point uh, on the rescue you can see that the props are turning so they didn't lose power at this point but they said that the cargo shifted here you can see how the cargo is laid out on board the deck um, you've got a fairly large I think it's a 26 meter work boat in the middle here and it you know they're saying that the deck cargo shifted that I don't see anything that shifted here these are athwart ships they're sideways on the hull so they're not shifted. There's something missing there. Maybe there was a boat there. Maybe there wasn't. Um, this baby here, uh, they're listing to starboard, but you can see there's a crane right there. So I don't think that thing has gone very far to starboard. Um, this boat eventually fell off. Uh, we got some pictures of that. So that's part of the uh, excitement here. So they're in uh, nasty seas. They're rolling badly. They're listing uh, quite far to starboard, and the captain ordered everybody off the boat except for himself and three crew members. And so the Norwegian uh, Coast Guard helicopters that you're going to see in this video, is fantastic footage, uh, came out and plucked the crew members off the deck, and they also, <clears throat> I, I suppose, asked them to uh, jump overboard because the boat was uh, rocking so much. <clears throat> they did a couple of pickups, it looks like, from the water. Um, and you'll see that, it's just, just spectacular footage and they're uh, just incredibly skilled and uh, everybody's also quite uh, brave to be out there doing this, but that's their jobs. So there's seven on the deck that you can count there and they uh, hoisted them on up one at a time and everybody seems to have gotten off except for one guy. You'll also notice on the stern of the vessel on the starboard side is a lifeboat and uh, for some reason they decide not to use that but the idea of those lifeboats you can see how it's uh, pointed down there like a torpedo as they jump uh, that they launch straight into the ocean. So now you're going to check this out on the uh, starboard stern quarter you see there's a little guy just jumped overboard there into the prop wash uh, just an astounding uh, move it looks like he was the last guy on board they must have told him to bail out but uh, that is a ballsy move so here comes a rescue diver with his flippers uh, to fetch this guy and he is a lucky guy and that is a very skillful operation by the Norwegian Coast Guard. So that guy's up and away. Check the size of that wave. 360 foot vessel. Just took a tumble off. That is gigantic. The current situation, this is now two days out from the uh, initial problem. The boat was eventually completely abandoned by the captain and the other three crew members. And it was, uh, they lost power and it was adrift. And so it's currently um, <clears throat> drifting towards the coast of Norway. 
which is very rugged and rocky and it will not survive uh, meeting that coast. And so the owners of the vessel have dispatched the Smith uh, salvage teams to go out there uh, with some big tugs and try to get somebody on board and hook it up and uh, tow this boat into a safe port. Um, however, between these pictures that we're seeing here and the arrival of the tugs, you can see in this photograph here, which um, I'll put on the screen. So this is a later photograph, and now you can see that that big vessel in the middle is no longer there. You'll also recall that there was a crane arm that was on the starboard side next to that vessel, and it's gone. So presumably that vessel rolled off to starboard and took the crane arm with it, which would make the boat more stable and uh, give it a better chance of surviving this incident. So here's a picture of the vessel, the commercial vessel, 26, 27 meters that was on the deck. And that is a shot of it adrift uh, somewhere near the mothership, uh, waiting to get picked up by salvers or another uh, tug or towboat and brought into port. So this is a story that's still unfolding. You'll see uh, some news if you know where to look. The Norwegian Coast Guard, the way that they pluck these people off the boat, it's really cool. So that's it for the, today's update on this situation. If there's any other interesting news, we'll do a follow-up. We'll grab some footage and uh, show it to you. But uh, in the meantime, please subscribe to the Yacht Channel and uh, stay tuned because I'm going to do more of these uh, news updates for our subscribers because there's a lot of stuff that goes on uh, in the commercial world and with the yachts. Um, uh, a lot of people have seen the sinking of Yogi and I see that there's a new round of uh, interest in that on YouTube. Um, uh, we're not going to cover that because it's been uh, covered many times over but there are uh, always interesting things going on at sea and uh, we're going to uh, bring you more of those in these news updates so i hope you uh, let me know in your comments if you like these and uh, what else you might be interested in and that's it for me today paul madden at the yacht channel